My name is Tara. My name is Carla. And my name is Nicola, filling in for James. Welcome, Welcome to, to Jumbo Note, Note TV, TV. Episode, episode number 10. Jumbo Note, the performance based music school. Instrument tuition, singing lessons too. Come along, we'll bring out the star in you. We'll bring out the star in you. We have a huge show today on Jumbo Note TV with many live performances. On today's show, we have special guest, The Fusion, who will perform a few songs for us and talk about their new song, Growing Up, which features on the album, Jumbo Note Does Originals, which will be released on Friday 28th September. Yes, Nicola. I'm looking forward to seeing The Fusion here on Jumbo Note TV. We also have live performances by Alira G's, Hunter Solomons, Yana Tenadora, and teachers Chantel Nora and Ben Gregory will also be in performing for a song for us. What a lineup, guys! Let's get this show cracking. Ladies and gentlemen, live on Jumbo Note TV, the band formerly known as the Internet Scams, the all new The Fusion.
Sometimes the people laugh need the rub. People will go and people will go just like people on your own talk show. at John Bennett. Remember to also subscribe to our YouTube channel next time you watch one of our videos. Like and subscribe!
I'm here on stage with the guys from The Fusion. Great performance, guys. All this time we've known you as the internet scams, but you've had a recent name change. So, what made you change your name and why? Well, I think it's pretty obvious why we changed it, because uh, Andrew didn't like it. <laughs> and so um, uh, it took us like forever to find a new name until literally right after we announced we were going to change it, that performance, Vasilius came up to me and said, hey, I've got this new name, it's like, it's the Fusion. And so we brought that to the band next week and we changed it right then and there. And uh, we've been the Fusion ever since, so about three weeks. So we all know that you've been working on a new original song growing up. So James, can you tell me what was your inspiration for the song and what it's about? Well, really, it was, um, it was, I started writing it and it was like more about my life up until that point, which is uh, September, September 2017, which is what I was writing it about. And my life is just, if you can think of my life and just think of me, then you have a basic idea of what my life is. And that's what I wrote growing up about. It's just, yeah. So from hearing small snippets of the song growing up, there's a definite U2 and Coldplay kind of feel going on. So was that intentional or did it just come naturally to you guys? Uh, well, it came naturally. It was something that I had, you know, worked on like from the very beginning when we wrote the song. And uh, yeah, that was how it basically came about. So Isabella, you've came into one of the bands as a guitarist. So how has that been being the only girl amongst all these guys? It's honestly all right, I don't really mind. We all get along, we all joke, we laugh together. One family, I guess. We also know that you play lots of instruments. So were you meant to be the drummer for the Fusion? And what other instruments have you been playing? Um, yes, originally I came in as the drummer and then they need a guitarist and I'm more confident on guitar. So why not become a guitarist? Andrew, since you've joined the band, your keyboard playing has been a huge influence on the band. And since the early days, the internet scams went for a more, rather a hard rock kind of feel, but now it's a more vibey sounding kind of band, with many layers that you provided to the band. What has playing in this band taught you as a musician, and how does it differ from playing as a soloist? Well, since joining the band, I've learned that layering instruments is very important for the overall sound. And as a soloist, I think I've learned more about chord progressions and how they really enhance the song as a whole. So from social media, we saw that you guys were shooting your music video. Can you tell us about it and where you shot it? Well, we shot the video at this place called um, Cape Salanzo. It's near Cornell. And we picked it because it was really desolate, but there was um, regrowth happening. So it was kind of like the plants were growing up, which was kind of what our song is about. So it fit the, the description. Please let us know what the future beholds. Have you guys got any plans and what can we expect from the upcoming Fusion? Uh, we want to get Isabella to do a solo one day, but that's very unlikely. We have our Battle of the Bands competition coming up in a few months. Can you tell us all what you guys have done to prepare for it and what can we expect from the band this time around? Uh, you know, we might work on a new original, like probably much I think a much more hard rock feel to it this time, you know? Yeah. To finish off so our viewers can get to know you guys a bit, please answer the following questions as best as you can. So, what's the best thing about the Fusion? Uh, well, I can think as one of the new members of the Fusion, I can say that the best thing about it is that each and every one of us are really passionate about music. So, I feel like I'm, a ve I'm very fortunate to be with such wonderful musicians that I practice with every day and it makes me feel really good. So who's the biggest larrikin in the band? That's a really easy answer. <laughs> easy answer. <laughs> so who tells the worst jokes? <laughs> yeah. Not a um, what's the best thing about being in this band? Uh, I think the best thing about being in this band is that we all get to come and we all get to practice and the whole idea is band jam and I think it's a really good thing that Darko created and it's not soloist anymore, it's just we come in and you make friends and you play together and that's something I believe that Jumbo Note Music School really does well by the way. What's the biggest challenge about being in a band? 
And finally, how do you guys think you'll do in the next Battle of the Bands? Well, we plan to... <laughs> Use the microphone. Well, we plan to do our best in the Battle of the Bands, continue practicing and... <laughs> and win. <laughs> Before we go, please tell us and the viewers about how we can follow you on Facebook and social media. Uh, we have a Facebook page. It's at the internet scams, I think, but we're changing it to the fusion in the near future, hopefully. And so, yeah, go check that out. Give us a like. A huge thank you to the band The Fusion for performing and chatting with us. We wish you the best at the upcoming Battle of the Bands and the release of your new song, Growing Up. Sixty seconds with Jumbo Note vocal teaching extraordinaire Miss Chantel Nora. What is the best thing about Jumbo Note Music School? Uh, probably the community and how we're all good friends as well as musicians that work together and just coming into work every day and seeing everyone smile and make music. It's very good. What made you decide to dedicate your life to music and choose it as your career? Um, I did music throughout my whole childhood. It's pretty much the only thing I've ever done and I just I have a really big passion for it. I love how it makes a difference in people's lives and I just decided to stick with it. What is your greatest musical memory? Probably all the training I did overseas. That was my greatest experiences with all the music endeavours I did. It was a whirlwind of experience and I was really young at the time so it was all very new to me and scary and fun and exciting. So they're probably my best memories. What is your worst musical memory? Uh, the time I swallowed a fly while singing on stage, but I still got second place, so I was, I was pretty happy with that. <laughs> on a lighter note, what did you have for breakfast this morning? I had a banana bread and some coffee. <laughs> what does Chantel Nora do on a typical Saturday night when she's not gigging? Honestly, I'm probably on the couch, watching a movie, in bed by 9.30. <laughs> it's pretty much my life. <laughs> Are you a cat person or a dog person or neither? Definitely a dog person. Finally, what is the most annoying thing about Mr. Ben Gregory, who is our jumper note guitar teacher and happens to be your partner? Um, probably his indecisiveness and the fact that we can never agree on anything sometimes, but that's about it. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Chantel Nora, for spending 60 seconds on Jumper Note TV. After the success we've had with our Band Jam program, we are proud to announce another great feature which makes Jumbo Note the leaders in music performance based learning. Introducing Pop Vox Band. Train as a pop vocal group. You learn how to collaborate and sing in harmony and perform in your very own vocal pop band. Suitable for all singers who want to take performing to the next level. Held weekly at Jumbo Note Studio B, Beverly Hill. Pop Fox Band is only available at Jumbo Note Music School. Visit www.jumbonote.com.au for more details. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pleased to welcome our next guest on the show, a new singer at Jumano, which teacher Chantel Nora raps about. Yes, Tara, our next guest is a relatively unknown performer at Jumano, a bit of a wild card, but we are sure that we'll all change very soon as we get to know her here on Jumano TV. Welcome to the show, Miss Alira G's. Thank you so much. Hi, Alira. So can you please tell us how long you've been singing for? I've been singing since I was two and since 
Um, I've started talking and I started singing les lessons when I was three years old and I've just sung since then. Can you describe for us a typical lesson with Miss Chantel Nora? So basically we talk about our week, we get into the mood, we start doing our warm ups, we jam out in the rooms and yeah. So what singers do you look up to and have a huge influence on your singing? Um, one of the singers that I really love um, is Pink and just all of her songs and all of the lyrics just are just so powerful and meaningful to my life and yeah. What are your plans with singing in the near future, Alira? I hope to pursue a career in it or just at least try to and just if I don't keep on singing because it's one of my passions, so yeah. So finally, what song will you be singing for us today? I will be singing I Don't Wanna Be You Anymore by Billie Eilish. Ladies and, ge ladies and gentlemen, live on Jamino TV for the very first time, let's make welcome Miss Alira G's with the song I Don't Want To Be You. Don't be that way Fall apart twice a day I just wish you could feel What you say Show never tell But I know you too well Kind of know that you wish you could
Chamba Night Music School, the dream starts here. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pleased to welcome our next guest in the show, a musician who always leaves a massive impression wherever he performs. Yes, Carla, our next guest has earned himself a reputation as being the star of the show wherever his band performs. Welcome to Jumbo Night TV, drummer of band Top Shelf, Mr. Hunter Solomon. Hi, Hunter. Please tell us how long you have been playing drums. I've been playing drums for three years. 
What attracted you to start playing drums as opposed to other instruments? Um, well, as a child growing up, I like to make noise. Um, I, I brought out the pots and pans. Can you please tell us how has your experience at Jumper Note been? Oh, um, it's been great. I, 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 I want to thank Manuel, my, my teacher. In the past three years, he's um, taught me lots of things. Oh yeah, and Matthew Harrison, he's taught me loads of things as well. Who is your favourite band and favourite drummer? Well, my favourite band is um, Foo Fighters and my favourite drummer is um, Taylor Hawkins, the drummer of Foo Fighters. Oh yeah, um, in an honourable mention, my second favourite drummer is the Rev from um, Avenged Sevenfold. He um, is really known and famous for his um, triple kick. <laughs> what are your goals and ambitions as a drummer? Um, to become a really well-known drummer and to be in a really well-known band and to make really good music. Thank you for chatting with us, Hunter. Seconds with Jumbo Note teaching extraordinaire who just about teaches every instrument plus coaches band the fusion, Mr. Ben Gregory. What is the best thing about Jumbo Note Music School? Uh, I think the best thing about this school would be the band jam program. I just think it's really cool how they bring all the kids together and let them enjoy their music. What direction would you like Jumbo Note to head in in the short term and the long term? Long term, I think it would be great for us to expand even further over the city because um, I know. I live on the North Shore and there's really nothing like this over there, nothing at all. Short term wise, I don't know, hard to think about that one. What is your greatest musical memory? 
greatest musical memory was probably playing in front of 20,000 people, came out of park on New Year's Eve. What yeah. is your worst musical memory? Countless times breaking strings, lots of strings. On a lighter note, are you a cat person, a dog person or neither? Definitely a dog person. What does Ben Gregory do on a typical Saturday night when he's not gigging? <laughs> not a lot. <laughs> I'll be on the couch watching TV. What is the most cutest thing about Miss Chantel Nora, who is our jumbo note vocal teacher and happens to be your partner? How humble she says she is, but she's not at all. It's <laughs> <laughs> not true. I'm very humble. I'm the most humble person you'll ever meet. <laughs> no, talking. It's literally the contradiction of humble. <laughs> I'm a lovely person. <laughs> Who is a better cook when you and your partner stay in for the night? Me. What is a typical meal you slash Chantel are capable of putting together? Oh, we'll be stir fry people. Hundred percent stir. It's easy. So stir fry. I, it's very hard to screw up a stir fry. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Ben Gregory, for spending sixty seconds on Jumbo Note TV. No problem. Not a cry that you hear at night, it's not 
Wow, what an amazing performance, Yana. Thanks for coming today and sharing with us your talent. Please tell us how long you have been at Jumbo Note and who is your teacher? I have been at Jumbo Note for um, three years and my singing teacher is Miss Aisha and my, um, my piano teacher is Mayan. How long have you been playing piano and has it been a challenge combining singing and piano playing? Well, I have been playing piano for two years and Yes, it has been a challenge combining singing and piano at first because um, once I practiced uh, getting to know the lyrics and the basics, well, it just became easier and easier and less of a challenge. And finally, please tell us what are your ambitions with music? Have you got any plans or anything you would like to achieve with your music, Yana? What I would love to achieve with my music is to uh, play and sing in front of a theater or um, become famous and posting it with the world. That's what I would really like with my music. Thank you for coming on to Jumbo Night TV, Yana, and we wish you the very best with your music. Jumba Night Music School, the dream starts here. Like us on the Facebook page and keep up to date with everything happening at Jumba Night. Remember to also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Next time you watch one of our videos. Like and subscribe.
We hope that you've enjoyed this episode of Jumbo Note TV. Yes, guys, I've enjoyed all the performances and had so much fun. We look forward to seeing you all at our next episode from all of us here at Jumbo Note TV. See you next time. And have, have a, a Jumbo, Jumbo musical, musical week. week. Before we go, we have Jumbo Note teachers Chantel Nora and Ben Gregory performing one last song. Take it away, guys. See you.